Hello everyone, welcome back to Veranda IAS. We are back with a new session, new chapter that is how to approach polity, prelims and mains perspective. So basically in this series of foundation course, we are emphasizing on you, uh, emphasizing on you to understand that what is the structure of this exam, what is the syllabus, the relevance of various subjects and what should be your strategy to clear this exam. After that in this course, we are going to give you a glimpse of the important topics. We will go through whole of the syllabus, just a glimpse of the syllabus. By this course, you will be able to understand that how you have to approach for the bigger game. Today we are going to discuss on how to approach polity for prelims and mains. So mainly the approach for two, these two stages differ a bit. What is the difference? At preliminary stage, at pre, we get MCQ type of questions, you all know, weightage is high, we have discussed and also we have discussed that the prelims stage, the focus is on facts, concepts, current affairs, very like basic thing, keep this in your mind. Not only facts, not only concepts, not only current affairs. The amalgamation of all these three is what UPSC asks you. At the level of mains, we have discussed that UPSC tests you for your analytical ability. And second, your descriptive knowledge. So, game for mains is different your analytical ability and descriptive knowledge is being tested. Why so? Because this is the stage from where you have to start imagining that you are an administrator. You have to give the solutions of the problems. The question of the, the question paper of the mains exam will be like this only, where problems will be asked you, issues will be asked you and the mains will judge you on your analytical ability. So for mains, strategy will differ from the prelims level. First in short, we will discuss about the prelims. In prelims, you have to read the books, make some short notes, remember the articles. Sometimes articles are also being asked, as we discussed earlier, UPSC's questions are not simple like one statement will be given to you. Three, four statements will be given to you and it is very necessary for you to understand, to know exactly like four out of four statements how many are correct and how many are not. So out of those four, there is a high probability that one will be static in nature. Some act, some date, some article might be asked in one of the statements and other statements will continue the analysis and the concepts of that topic. So articles are important to remember, but it is not like you will start, take the bare act from starting till ending, 395 articles you are mugging up, not like that. Some parts of articles are relevant. First and foremost, those articles, those acts which are in news, again and again which you re read in the newspaper, which you read in the editorials, those are very important. Second, previous year question papers will tell you that which all articles are being asked again and again, which all areas are being focused again and again. Third, after this, you cannot leave at any cost articles related to fundamental rights, fundamental duties and DPSPs. For prelims or mains, these topics, three topics you cannot afford to leave, I'll say. So basically, now you will be worried that, that how to remember the articles. People might have told you that UPSC is not game of mugging up. Okay, it's okay, it's correct. UPSC is not game of mugging up. But to tackle this part, you have to do whatever you can. Make some mnemonics, make some flowcharts, make some mind maps, relate some articles to any of the things, any lamest of the things make any like dumbest mnemonics but remember these articles remember these articles it is very necessary after these you have to like remember articles read books make short notes revise those notes and then important step is to solve previous year question papers 
previous year questions are very very relevant all the at least 10 to 15 years previous year question papers are important no matter the pattern has changed or some new uh, like what type of questions are coming or what but 10 to 15 years previous year questions are very important for you to solve after this comes the practice session by practice session what i mean is you have read a topic you have seen what all uh, points you have to remember or revise again and again what all things are complicated you made short notes made mnemonics revised them and then you have solved previous year questions related to that topic now you have to test your knowledge to test your knowledge you have to actually solve practice set questions solve the practice set questions close the book solve the questions and then check whether you are going right or wrong if wrong go back start from step one this is the way strategy to crack prelims now we will move ahead we will see about our strategy for mains mains is a different game if i say this what i mean is mains is all about the art of answer writing what is the art of answer writing what is this art which no art school teaches you only you will know about it while your preparation days when you will be preparing you will be able to write answers with this art which upsc requires for mains first of all we will see what should be our approach for the subject you have to read books but before that i'll give you four point strategy first is mug up the syllabus why i say mug up the syllabus even if someone at two o'clock in the night is asking you the syllabus you should have it in your like on your lips immediately if you are an upsc aspirant a true aspirant syllabus should be your bible why because upsc syllabus is very vast what problem students face is they read they think that upsc is all about reading reading anything under the sun so basically reading anything under the sun does not mean that you are preparing actually for upsc the strategy for upsc is different the syllabus is vast but stick to the syllabus you have to read a lot of things but it is not like everything or anything under the sun can come i know there is like students often worry often say that it is the difficult exam of the uh, country difficult exam in the india why because there is no weightage given to various subjects sometimes some year you might get questions from polity in some years you might get from governance in some year might uh, it might be ir or geography or history and so on but the thing is above all the questions will be from the os two pages of syllabus the syllabus for gs 1 2 3 and 4 in detailed manner is given on upsc's website so you have to basically stick to the syllabus any topic you are reading in the newspaper you have to if you are like remembering the syllabus you have remembered it by your heart when you will be reading any topic in the newspaper you will be able to get it connect it that this is like part of gs paper 2 this might be asked in gs paper 1 just uh, this might be asked in gs paper 3 and likewise even if you when you are preparing the notes of current affairs you can add it in that section of that gs paper where you think this topic is relevant not think actually it will be relevant if you know the syllabus by heart second point of four point strategy is pyqs here you have to take questions at first not before reading the books why because you have already cleared prelims if not you will clear prelims you are preparing for prelims so considering that your preparation for prelims is done or is on the way is at a good pace for means the strategy which you have to follow is read the syllabus remember the syllabus stick it on your table in front of your table wall wherever you study and then move to other thing that is pyqs read at least i'll say read only i'll say read at least 10 year questions previous 10 year questions asked in upsc mains examination we are dealing with polity what you will do you will check the previous year question paper from last 10 years and then just read those questions once twice thrice you will be able to understand that what type of questions are being asked in upsc 
if you are reading executive, legislature, judiciary, questions will not come like uh, why executive, legislature, judiciary are interrelated. No simple question, no direct question. No, uh, those questions which are covered directly in books. But what will be asked is your ability to understand it as an administrator. So for that, the requirement of UPSC can be understood only with the help of PYQs and syllabus. Only with the help of UPSC, you can understand what UPSC wants. After this, you have to make content. Prepare the content topic-wise. I'll suggest you to prepare the content topic-wise for mains. No need of note making in prelims, but in mains, take the topic, prepare the content, either like your handouts of Veranda IAS or anything. If you are finding any um, important information in news, what you will do, your approach should be, for example, here we covered Panchayati Raj institutions. And some of the news of Panchayati Raj institutions, news article is there in the newspaper. You immediately go to your those handouts, those notes which you have made from the classes and update it there. When you are revising it during, uh, before your mains, it will be very easier for you to cover the current affairs of whole of the year along with the topic. And you will be able to understand that what type of questions are being asked. So you have to prepare the content topic wise as per the syllabus. In our next lecture, we will be discussing about the syllabus of UPSC as well. So I will tell you there how you can approach each and every topic. After that, you have to check. What you have to check? Whether questions being asked in UPSC are being covered by what content you have prepared or not. If not, then there is need for updation. So this four point strategy you have to follow for preparing for mains. Read the syllabus, remember the syllabus. PYQs, then make the content and then check the validity of your content, the quality of your content. Okay. After all this comes the game of answer writing. What is answer writing and how you can develop it? Develop the skill. It is not a game of one day. It is a game of 1.5 years. When you will study new topics, you will be having content to write the answers. And the skill, the pattern, you will develop over the period of the time. Now, next problem which students face generally is time management. So, for time management, I will suggest you to practice. In UPSC, 250 marks question paper is there in mains. For every question, you get only 7 to 7.5 minutes. So, in this 7 to 7.5 minutes, what you have to do? You have to understand the question. You have to read the question twice, thrice. And then you have to divide the question in parts. Yes, divide the question in parts. For example, there is some question critically evaluate about the parliamentary system of India. So what you have to do critically evaluate is different question. Parliamentary system of India is different question. Then you have to establish the correlation between these two. How? I'll tell you. If critically evaluate is the word on which is the focus, you have to give the pros, the cons, and then the conclusion. This is the format of content. What will be the format of answer? In answer, you have to give introduction, a very catchy and very good introduction and also easier. Not complicated long sentences, avoid to use that. You are not there to uh, showcase your vocabulary knowledge. You are there to showcase your subject knowledge, your skills, your analysis. So basically for answer, first of all, introduction will be there. Then comes the body of the answer and then comes the conclusion. For UPSC, remember, don't ever use political, ideological inclinations. You might get questions asking direct question, like direct questions asking about the prime minister, the president, the governor, the lieutenant governor. Suppose we discuss the issue of lieutenant governor of Delhi. In that, you are asked about the powers and the roles of lieutenant governor of Delhi as a UT. 
so stick to the answer in writing the answer to Lieutenant Governor of Delhi as a authority, as a post. What do I mean if I say this? Don't ever use the name of any political party, political figure or controversial statements. This is what is a big no. Uh, you should not use these things. Then what you should use and why you should not use these things? Because look, you are going to get appointed as an administrator. You are supposed to have some answers to the solutions, to the problems prevailing and not any political inclinations and not any political ideologies or a tilt towards them. Why is it important? Because bureaucracy is like the permanent structure. Governments will come and go, but you will be there in your district to handle the issues. So you need not to get inclined or get motivated by any political influences. Okay, you have to stick to the authority, the post. You have to talk about, in case of Lakshwadeep, about the administrator and not about Praful Patel. Mr. Patel, you need not to talk. Okay, apart from this, what we have to do is, we have to prepare the notes and also update the notes and then only we will be able to tackle this subject. For answer writing, introduction, body and conclusion is important. In detail, we will be discussing in another lecture where we will be dealing with some previous questions. I will tell you how you have to make these three parts very good, very presentable and fetch more marks. So basically, this should be your approach and also in body, what you have to stick is pros, cons and then a good way forward or conclusion. This will be your constituent of body of the answer. For answer writing, you have to practice again and again. If you are practicing daily some questions, after a few months of your preparation, you have to start practicing answer writing. Then only you will be able to tackle this art get this skill, then you have to work on time management. Time management means in first day you will write the paper. Suppose you are practicing some previous year paper of 2.5 hours. You will be able, you might be able to complete it in 4 hours, 4.5 hours. But at the end what you have to do is, you have to bring it down to 2.5 to 2 hours. Over the period of the time you will develop this and then only you will be able to right answers when you are actually appearing in mains. So this was all for today. We have covered all the points, static syllabus, current syllabus, and then conceptual understanding with applied knowledge is important. Memorizing certain facts, articles, important judgments is very much required. And then logical analysis with regard to previous year questions is required. You have to link the static topics with current events. So this was all for today. We will continue from here. We will know that how we can deal with the questions related to prelims and mains with the help of PYQs. Till then, stay tuned. Keep studying. Thank you so much.